My name's Dan Donfro, and I am an eighth degree black belt in Ed Parker's American Kempo Karate. I started Kempo Karate as a teenager around 1990, and I, I've been with Kempo ever since. Physical training is important in life. If you want to stay in shape, there's only one way to do it, and that's through physical activity. You know, some activities can get boring. You know, in the karate, you can hit things, you can learn things. I mean, there's techniques, there's forms, there's sparring. There's just a lot of aspects to martial arts training, which, you know, physical activity is one of the big ones. It's an activity that you, you can continue to improve on in athletics, you'll reach a certain age and your ability starts to go down where in martial arts, you can continue to improve. Once I learned my first Kempo technique, I was hooked. It was what I wanted to do. And I mean, you can go to Kempo every day for a decade and learn something new. So that, the, uh, that's one of the things that really attracted me to it. You know, it's important mentally to have something to strive for outside of just regular daily life. The people that come here, I mean, we have goals. We want to make ourselves better. We want to improve on what we do. It's important to have things to look forward to in life other than going to work and eating dinner. You know, and, and you know, training in the martial arts, again, it's something that you can continue to improve on and you can have goals. Teaching has been a part of my training since I was a student. I was a student teacher. And then when I started in, in American Kempo, I actually had some teaching experience in the Kuntal. So it was easy to, you know, help out with the kids. And anytime that I was working with adults and I knew the stuff and they didn't, I would kind of help them out with it. And then I was, I just outright asked, you know, would you like to teach? And so I pretty much just started teaching every kid's class and every adult class. I mean, you couldn't get me off the mat. I was the first one in, last one to leave. I think a quality instructor has to be engaging, you know, and they have to realize that not every student is the same and they need to be, they may be able to adapt some of the things that they're doing. You can have a rigid curriculum, but you can't expect the same from everyone. And you need to be able to recognize strengths and weaknesses and, you know, expand on, you know, what you need to and you just bring the best out of everybody. An instructor needs to, to look at it as it's an honor to be able to stand up there and teach. It's experience, you know, I mean, experience makes you a better instructor. The more years you do it, the more students you teach, the better you get at it. And, you know, you can recognize students, their attributes, and, and really expand on that and make them better than they ever thought they could be. Here at World Class Karate, it's not just me. I have an excellent group of instructors. Probably the, I couldn't ask for a better group of instructors that, you know, if, if someone needs extra help, you know, we split up and they will get that extra help. And, you know, they'll get into groups where they can work on what they need to work on and there'll be other groups that might be farther ahead that are working on what they need to work on. But everybody gets the attention that they need. And from there, you know, the improvement shows. Hi, my name is Laura Eckert. I am a second degree black belt in Ed Parker's American Kempo, and I've been studying Kempo for about eight years now. Going from student to instructor was 
a pretty smooth transition for me. I would come here and watch my son take class and I would stay for my class, but then I started um, helping out on the mat and just, you know, helping the kids, you know, reminding them to keep their hands up, things like that. And that was just kind of a slow transition into being instructor and that just kept building on itself. Now I'm here four nights a week teaching. Hi, my name is Donna Bosworth and I practice American Kempo. I'm a fifth degree black belt. I've been training for 25 years and I started when I was 39. What happened was the need for instructors. The, um, so I was asked, classes are getting bigger, I need more help. That was the beginning. I don't think anybody's an ideal student right off the bat. If you want to get good at anything, it takes a certain amount of dedication and discipline. So I guess, you know, the unideal student for me would have the, the three, you know, motivation, dedication, and discipline. With those three things, you can strive at anything. I've competed for years. I mean, I love to fight. When I was a kid, when I was a teenager, there was a, I mean, intermediate teenage divisions, there was 40, 50 kids. I mean, we'd be fighting all day, and, and th that was great. I consider myself a much better coach than a competitor, so competition highlights for me are my students winning things. I get much more pride out of watching my students win than myself. I have competed in a few tournaments. I started in 2018 at the Boston IKC and started competing in the self-defense uh, division and then uh, competed at the Long Beach Internationals starting in 2021. But I would have to say the highlight for me was um, in 2022 I had never competed in forms so I said I would give it a try in addition to self-defense. So I competed and took first place in my division, but then took first place in the Grands, which was completely unexpected to be the Long Beach Forms Grand Champion. I've been competing for 15 years. Um, I have been a proud member of World Class Kempo Karate Academy. I've been a member of the Team Executive Edge, and most of all, um, WKC Team USA. I've competed twice in Canada and for Team USA, but the most amazing time was to compete in Italy and to bring home a gold. My son Sam, as a kindergartner, started his uh, first introductory lesson and loved it. And so he came every week and I would come and watch classes and I knew instantly that I was in a great place. I prefer to just be here knowing that I'm cared for, taken care of, and it's a very safe place to be for me personally. Kempo Karate for me has been a way to keep myself at my age moving and limber. Um, it's a social thing. I come here, these are all my friends and my family. It keeps my mind engaged because this system is very, very well thought out. Um, the concepts of motion, things like that really speak to me and keep me interested, um, mentally engaged as well. So there's the physical, the social, the mental. It's kind of a package deal for me. Being here is a part of my life. This Kempo family got me through so much throughout my years of training. When my mom and dad were sick and dying, they were here for me. And I knew I could come and hit stuff. It goes beyond the discipline. It goes beyond the just coming in on the mat and training. It's the people that I've met throughout the years. It's the people I work with. It's the people I train with. It's much bigger than just doing karate.
all kids can benefit from structured classes that emphasize on focus, discipline, and effort. You know, it, those three things right there, and it doesn't just pertain to karate. If they want to be good at any athletic activities, it's focus, discipline, and effort. When it comes to schoolwork, it doesn't matter if it's mathematics or science or reading or English, it's the same thing. It's the focus, the discipline, and the effort. Without those three things, you're never gonna reach your potential. And if you have those three things, then your potential's limitless. When they get their first belt or when they get a stripe, every stripe is confidence. It's confidence that we show them that they have reached another milestone. When they get the black stripes that show, oh man, I'm almost there at the next belt, that's another sign of confidence in what they're doing and their abilities and what they're learning. In addition to me going out and teaching at these locations, I take classes. I mean, you'll see me on the mat with my students. And the future looks bright. You know, I'm really looking forward to, you know, continuing to travel and, and teach groups who I have not taught before. What keeps me going is the students. After class, when we bow out and they come running and they want to give you a hug, that really warms my heart. I do this because I love to teach and I love to see students benefit from what I teach. So it's definitely the students. As long as the students are motivated and they're coming in, then I'm motivated and I'm coming in.